so today I have worked up, I think, enough courage to carry on with our playthrough of Layers of Fear. Um, as you can see, there's now a, a, a camera. Um, I'm not sure how exactly I feel about this. The last time I did a playthrough of this game, uh, of, of the first um, sort of level, um, it was terrifying. Uh, I don't do horror games, as I mentioned before. And uh, this this time around, the, the, the last time I did it, it was during the day. This time around, it's it's night time. Um, so yeah, let's hope I can get to sleep tonight. <coughs> Continue. Ah. Whew. Okay. I think we read this last time. Hate even now lost you deserve it. Finish it. Okay. Dust mice. And then there was something in the cupboard, if I remember right. Yeah, there was there was the human flesh. Uh, first, I looked for a canvas, not just any canvas. I had to find a knife, not just one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor, so I used razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Boost helped keep my hands steady. So, we discover that he cut something. Deep breath, remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Okay, I think it's... Hmm, time for part two. Now's the part where we start shitting ourselves. <coughs> I might actually shit myself. Let's just ignore the fact that we saw someone walking through the house that we're supposed to be alone and past catches on. Pretty sure that's what that said. More than likely something outside. Locked. Thought so. feel about this. There is a note. Dear sir, well I can certainly understand that you are upset and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself. I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from, from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of, fa risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. I don't know what that word means. Where's my dictionary? Uh, I think I packed it away. Damn. Okay. Ameliorate. Anyway, we'll Google that later. Actually, I probably won't. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself.
Uh, okay. Let's just ignore the fact that I just heard something moving in my room. <coughs> um, then I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information of several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, MD. That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. Nothing else in this. Nope. Okay, cool. Um, pretty sure I went into that room. I have to go upstairs. Something is burning. That's nice. You can just piss right off, thank you very much. A lot of alcohol on the floor. It's just a rat. A note. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> the following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. While typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, the disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, i.e. psychologist or psychiatrist. Blank expressions, stares off into space, yes. Involuntary facial movements, yes. Insomnia, haven't noticed. Unusual gestures or postures, always had it. Unable to experience joy from activities, definitely. Depersonalization, what does that even mean? Awkward, clumsy movements, might be from the accident. Prone to anger and resentment, more passive aggressive. Lack of motivation, yes. Suicidal tendencies, Mm. There's something written on the wall there. Wake up your mind. My mind is very much awake right now, but but thank you for the encouragement. Back in this room. So, 
you're telling me I have to do something in this room like I did last time. Very dark. Graphics. Damn. Oh, wait, it's a bit better. It's mildly terrifying. Need a moment. <clears throat> What's that? safe. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this room. I think that's probably for the best. locked. Shit out of me again. 
it cannot be undone. I'm so glad a dog didn't jump out at me there. It's quite a beautiful painting though. Scary shit's gonna happen, I know it. Mm. I don't like it. I'm gonna take the headset off right now.
This house is absolutely amazing. amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. Very nice walking stick. Gonna, gonna try head back this way. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere.
plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. He harvested blood. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of so a syringe? So he harvested... So he harvested... He harvested flesh for the canvas and then her blood. Repairing everything. Plastic tubing, yes, I can guess before I knew how it was done. Okay, so that's just again a description of how he did it. Last long you deserve it. A grave. Is that grave? I think that's that's his grave. A grave for you. Anything else that's new here? I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and now you've got now there you are, locked in your workshop, as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. Okay, photoless artery. Form emerges. Okay, so that's obviously moving into part three. Whew. Okay, so... We finished with, with level 2 or part 2 of the game. Um, I shot myself probably about 3 times, um, especially when that room exploded. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I don't know why the hell I'm playing this game. Um, nonetheless, I will continue to play it. Uh, we'll see what how you guys react now that I've got a face cam for this. Um, but yeah, that's part 2 done four more to go. As I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, if you have, please don't forget to hit that like button. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button as well. Once you're subscribed, also hit that notification bell so that you can receive notifications as soon as I post new videos. Um, I'm hoping that over the next couple of weeks I'll be able to post more and more. Um, if you've seen, you would have noticed, uh, on my, the rest of my channel, you would have noticed that I've um, started a Minecraft series um, with a group of guys on a South African private Minecraft server called Pearlcraft. Really enjoying it so far. I hope you guys are too. So you can expect more of that to be released. I've got another two episodes that I'm working on currently. So hopefully those will be uploaded within the next couple of weeks before the December holidays so that you guys have stuff to watch. Um, as well as Ring of Elysium. 
um, there was a, a new update recently um, I do need to play a lot more in the update to get used to the change in mechanics I haven't got any decent footage yet um, but I'm hoping that over the course of this coming week that'll that'll change and I'll have something something else for you guys to enjoy um, so yeah until the next um, layers of fear video Try not to have too many nightmares, friends. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers, guys.